okay, I haven't done a League Code Weekly contest in a while. Actually, I have last week, but then that screencast, like, didn't record well. So, I'm gonna try to record again this week. And hopefully, I can do well this time. Is it always, so you can, it's always guaranteed, so. Um, the first one can be like 12 or something and then, um, so you try to replace the hours from one to, from zero all the way to 23, okay. And then we try to see if, actually start at 23 and then we go all the way to zero because we want the biggest one. Um, so. So if time of zero, the character here is equal to I divided by 10. Well, let's make function called match, it matches a character to integer, so it returns true if it's a question mark or if um, it's actually the same value, okay? So then we can replace, the, replace this with match time of zero and then I divide by 10. And we also try to match the second digit. This is really complicated for a problem a time zero is equal to zero plus this and then time one is equal to um, zero plus the ones digit. We do the same thing for oh for the second one is pretty easy for for the minutes part. So if I think it starts at three, right? So it's zero, one, two, three, okay. So it's equal to question mark, we just replace it with a five. And then if, and the unit digit is also simple. This question mark, replace it with a nine. Use example, then let's try to run the code. Okay, that was complicated. Okay, so we basically store the frequencies of strictly less than every letter. Oh, we, we solved it for like all three cases. So the third, let's start with the third case first because I think it's the easiest. So this would be like the total map of like all the characters. Let's just check to make sure this works. 19. Alright, probably works. So we iterate over all the characters and then we add it to the map for both A and B. Okay, and then I'll just separate this with like braces into three parts. The total number of characters is the first size plus the second size. And then we min the answer with. We also try to find the max frequency. Okay, so for, for each pair inside the map, we max this with the current. And then the number we need to change is this. You change any character to, a little, to any lowercase letter. Easy minus F, okay. So let's create a new solve function. Since 
to go over the two possible orders. Then this will look at all the possible ways to separate these two. So start at zero. That's like the maximum character A can have. And then it has to be less than 25. I plus one is the minimum character B can have, and that needs to be less than 26. So then we try all of these. Yeah, I have the current answer. Holy minute, actually. Okay. Go through everything. You know, if the character is it's greater, than, greater than I, then we need to replace it. And similarly, we go through every character in B, and if it's less than equal to I, then we have to add one to the count. And now this should work. So let's see. Accepted. Cool. What time is it? Six minutes past. M is the number of rows. Okay. XOR of. So basically, prefix XOR. Basically, find all the prefix XORs and then. And then we put in a vector, and then we sort, and then that yeah, should be the compiler. Oh, we need a char map. Okay, it's getting prefix x words. That shouldn't be hard. I'm actually going to switch M and N here because I'm used to N being the number of rows. So for each row. And for each column, we also do that. Now we have all the R coordinates, and then create an array based on all the values. Sort the array, as we return, is it kth biggest or kth, kth largest? Okay, so current n minus times n minus k. Use examples, let's go. Still compiler. Oh, it's supposed to use c here, okay. Finished 7540. Seems to work. Let's hope it doesn't get TLE. It would be stupid if it did. Because um, I'm using n log n for like n equal to 10 to the 6. Accepted, nice. Building boxes. Problem 3 was pretty easy. What's n? 10 to 9. You're asked to place n boxes. Okay, I think there's a pattern here. Submit. Um, so, for n equals 2, so let's think about like. Let me just type this out. So uh, n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. For 5, yeah, it still takes up 5. And the sixth one, we can, well, you we can use the wall, right? All right. Okay, yeah, we're allowed to use the wall, okay? So 1, 2, 3, 4. 
The answer is one, two, three, three. I think it's some simulation thing. So we keep finding the maximum. Um, so we need to find how many boxes we can fit with a side of like, wait, does that actually work? Wrong answer. Expected zero. Oh, because it's supposed to be A. I got confused with the other problem, I think. Okay, this was stupid. Zero, okay. It's going to cost me five minutes. Oh no. I still think that's optimal, okay? So for certain the side length, what can we get? While S sees long ones, just to be sure. That's like the base. What happens if we sum this entire thing up? Just going to take a guess and say that's this. Well, this is less than n. You add one to s. Wait, so what if s is two? This is two then. Yeah, it's four, it works. If s is three. Yeah, okay. Use example, run code. Yeah, the problems are really simple, so not feeling good about this. 3 3. I feel like there are corner cases actually. Do not think this through. This should be 2. Oh, uh, yeah. So I think I need to min these two. Min this with minus one times s times s plus one divided by six. That's like the previous, and then n minus this. How many? extra do we need, plus the base, the previous base, which is this, the code, two, and code, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven is six, right? Be sure. Six, six. Okay, I think this works. Let's hope it does. Oh no. Input 15. So, what went wrong here? Oh, you can actually place it in a weird way. Oh, 
okay, I'm really not doing this correctly. So you can have like triangular base, but then you might place things on side. And these could add up quite a bit. Let's have S2 be equal to one and then while and we have to add the ones from S2, so by two plus and then the increment S2. And finally, the answer is s times s plus 1 divided by 2 plus s2. So it's supposed to be 9. Let's try this. 9, OK. Let's submit. Accepted. Cool. OK, that took 16 minutes. That was way too long for simple problems. They did not like the math problem at all. There are actually quite a bit of bugs. Oh, it's... I can't tell what's... Am I ranked 16? Uh, I can't tell because the scoreboard is actually pretty weird, but I don't think I'll do, don't think I'm doing, I'll do terrible. So yeah, we'll see. Anyway, I just go to the scoreboard in the description and then you can find out my final rank.